Hi everyone, uh, in this video we are going to see how to set a custom style for your components, in particular uh, for Lisbox, Combo Box and DB Grid components. So for example, let's say that I have a Lisbox 1 uh, which contains these items, uh, clock, calculator, calendar, maps and tools, right? Uh, and I also have image list here that contains images for those items. And as you can guess, what I want is to put uh, those images along uh, uh, the text inside the list box. So, uh, well, let's run it and just to have it like this. You see, I have uh, those images from the image list uh, and I have text along those images. Uh, in order to do that, you need to uh, set the style uh, of this list box uh, to on a draw. So by default it's standard, but if you uh, leave it as standard, uh, nothing is going to happen. You will have a standard meaning just text, right? But if you set it to on a draw, then you have uh, an ability to um, uh, define on draw item event, which pretty much defines how uh, image list item is drawn. So if we go there, we pretty much see that uh, when drawing an item, uh, what we do is draw uh, uh, an image from uh, image list one and uh, uh, along that image we put a text. So pretty much we say here um, leave some space for the image and after that uh, place a text uh, that describes that image. Right, so uh, this is the only code that we actually need. Uh, but like I said, uh, you uh, need not. Uh, you must not forget to uh, set the style to on draw. Right. Okay. In the second case, we have five items, and if we run the application, we see that um, odd items are uh, colored in blue, and even items uh, are colored in red. And again, it's the same procedure. Uh, you need to set uh, style to on and draw and go to events and say on draw item. And it's very simple. I uh, just check if it's uh, uh, an odd or even item. And then uh, font color is set to red or uh, blue. And that's uh, pretty much it. And I get this result, right? But in uh, third case and fourth case, we have here list box three and combo box one. Uh, I'm going to add fonts. And when I click this button here, uh, I'm going to um, uh, let's let me see. I'm going to um, execute this code, and this code will uh, add all my uh, system fonts inside list box three and combo box one here and here. So let's uh, click this. And as you can see, uh, I've added all the fonts, but it's not just that I added the fonts, but I also uh, I also uh, changed the font of each item so it matches uh, that font uh, that it's described here. So uh, as you can see, each of the item has a specific font, meaning the font that is uh, uh, which which name is actually uh, described in the item. So um, this is for uh, list box and um, this is for combo box. Uh, but for combo box, we have also set here uh, again that we want um, uh, odd items in blue and even items in uh, red. Okay, so pretty much you can combine uh, uh, those things, right? Uh, and uh, in the last case, we have uh, DB grid and uh, we are going to add some uh, random records here and uh, as you can see uh, here we have uh, odd records that are in green and even records uh, that are in, in in white right so it's uh, colored by the row uh, when it comes to db grid it, it doesn't have this owner draw style uh, but uh, all you need to do is to go into events and uh, use this on draw column cell uh, event. If we open it up, we see here that we pretty much say, uh, well, if ID of that row is um, uh, uh, even, then it's green. Uh, excuse me, if it's not even, if it's odd, then it's green. Uh, and uh, 
well, uh, if it's uh, even, then it's by default white. So if it's odd, then it's green. And if it's even, then by default it's white. Uh, but also I can color it by um, the column as well. So uh, this is also the second way. You can also color it uh, uh, depending on the values that are in a specific rows or, or meaning the columns uh, or records uh, and etc. So as you can see, uh, this is not too hard to implement, but can be useful, especially uh, in, in the case of DB Grid, if you show uh, many data. Uh, and also, like I said, it can be useful also uh, in, in a, a list box itself, especially if you want to uh, add images inside a list box component. Well, thanks uh, for watching and like always, uh, see you soon.